Greetings. I want to talk to you today about your personal risk for disease. Now I'm going to do something that I've seen done on Johnny Carson years ago. They brought a man on who was able to predict the future and I'm going to look at you and I'm going to reach out and with my hand I'm going to be able to tell what your risk of developing diabetes is. And I've got it. Your personal risk is now one out of three chance of developing diabetes. And I'm talking about you. Now how did I do that? I could have just made it up, but the fact is that one out of three Americans are projected to be developing diabetes over the next 10 years because of diet and lifestyle. And I'm telling you this because you can do something about it that's very easy to do and it's very important for your children because children are at a much higher risk because their diet and lifestyle is worse than anything that we adults have grown up with. If you go by high schools or into even intermediate schools, you'll see a lot of obese children. When I was in school and when many of you were in school, if you're an adult watching this, there was almost nobody who was obese. It was, it was unusual. Today, a huge number of children are. The cause of this is carbohydrates. Our diet have sh and, and lack of exercise, sitting in front of computers and playing with games inside rather than playing games outside. Well, a simple change to modify and reduce your risk and your children's risk of getting diabetes, and our concern is diabetes is a tremendous cause of blindness. So, God forbid you develop this, and it can be prevented, and those of you who are diabetic, there is a lot you can do to keep it from causing damage to your eyes. And I'm going to talk about one simple thing all of you can do, or well, maybe it's two. We're going to certainly talk about reducing carbohydrates. By the way, if you don't know what are carbohydrates, they're basically white things, so as a start. There's more than that. But certainly sugars, fruit juices, um, which are not necessarily white, but pasta, potatoes, rice, um, all sorts of things that are starchy. And the common ones are pasta, potatoes, and rice in our American society. Chips, oh my gosh, all those snack chips that, they, that you think might be so good for your health, they are not. This is one of the, and sodas and fruit juices, these are where it's causing the children to become so obese and at such high risk for diabetes. And the big problem is diabetes frequently can lead to blindness. If you're diabetic early in life as a young person, then it's even higher risk. And the, ins the thing you need to know is that when it comes to young people, intermediate school and high school kids who are obese and at high risk for diabetes, it's not children who have a history of diabetes in their family. It's children who are obese. It's not because there's a history. Certainly if there's a history and there's a genetic effect, it's higher. But the risk today is just from diet and lack of energy or greatly from that. So what simple thing can you do to reduce your risk so you who I've touched and found are at risk for diabetes are not going to become one of those diabetics? Or if you do have the diabetes, you won't lose your vision from it. Simple thing add fiber to your diet. There is tremendous evidence that adding fiber to your diet will greatly reduce your risk of blindness if you're diabetic or developing diabetes. There are many forms of fiber that are available in the supermarket. For example, wheat fiber or oat bran fiber. All these brands that are the external part of the grain added to your diet reduce your risk. Now, if you're going to ask me how much, that's difficult. I would say add as much as you can where it tastes good. If you add too much fiber to your diet, you may get a little bit of a stomach ache and you may visit the bathroom frequently during the day. That'll be a definite hint. But adding fiber little by little will not be an issue if not, as long as you're not taking too much. And what type of fiber and where to add it? You look on the web, you can find tons of recommendations. Personally, I use a lot of flax, ground up flax seed, which I grind fresh in my coffee grinder, and you can add it to all sorts of things. <coughs> Excuse me. One place to add it is soups. It's wonderful added to soups. You can add it to all sorts of products that you may bake. I don't bake a lot of things because I don't eat a lot of carbohydrates. But you can add it to soups. You can add it to yogurt. You can add it to your cereal if you have cereal for breakfast. So there's lots of ways to add fiber to your diet. Adding fiber to your diet greatly reduces your risk of developing diabetes or of having damage to your eyesight and your general health from diabetes. So this is a simple recommendation that's fun to add to your diet, adds flavor, makes your food more palatable, more fun to eat, and it's simple to do. And of course, 
The other side of that is reduce your carbohydrate intake. Now, I want to give you a website to visit to learn more about diabetes and how to prevent problems and how to prevent developing it and get a lot of great information. And it's called foodconsumer.org. That's foodconsumer, one word, dot org. So, in essence, cut your carbs, add fiber to your diet, and increase your risk of living a long time and keeping your children healthy.